Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today I am here with my sewing machine because I'm gonna show you how to take a sweater and make it fit you perfectly the way you want. confession to make. I love this place. It's called Last Chance. For those of my like close friends and family, they're going to laugh when they see this because they know how I love shopping and Last Chance is all Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack stuff. So you can find some great deals there. So I found this sweater. It's 100% cashmere. I think I found it for like $30. It doesn't fit me right. It's too big. The sleeves are ginormous. The size is oversized and not in the good kind of way. So I'm gonna take you over to my mirror and show you what it looks like right now and then I'm gonna quickly sew it and make it fit exactly the way I want. All right, so let's go. Okay, so this is what the sweater looks like right now. It's asymmetrical cut, which I like because it looks cute with leggings and whatnot that I have on here. But it, as you can see, it's too big in the arms. And then the other problem is it kind of does this like little bowings. This is not for me, this is, I don't like this oversized look that looks like it's too big. I'm not gonna touch this side. I'm gonna go in just on this side alone and see how it looks. So let's head to the sewing machine. Okay, so what you'll need is just the sweater here. And then I don't have gray thread. I just realized that, oops. So I'm gonna be using the closest thing that I have, which is kind of like this mushroom color. You are not going to see the thread because it's gonna be sewn on the inside, but I would recommend to get thread that matches. And then you just need scissors. You can use a needle and sew it by hand, but I prefer a sewing machine just because it's a little more secure and it's a lot less time consuming. I'm gonna actually put this camera on the tripod and flip the sweater inside out. Okay, so I flipped the sweater inside out. You can see how it bows. So what I want to do is actually sew Following this seam here, I'm gonna create a new seam. I'm gonna pull this down and pin it. So I'm going to actually sew the side first and then I'm gonna tackle the arms. All right, so we're gonna start under where the armpit is. Couple stitches forward couple stitches backwards and then we're just going to follow the pins. I only remove the pins if I feel like they're going to be in the way, which a couple of them are. So I'm gonna cut all the strings and then I'm gonna try this on and see how it fits me. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. So much better. And again, it still has more of that loose, oversized feel, but it looks like it actually is your size, if that makes sense. All right, so now we're gonna flip it inside out. I'm gonna show you one more stitch that I use on all of my clothing so that way it secures the stitches and you don't have to ever worry about like, the stitching coming undone. So let's do that really quickly and then let's work on these sleeves. And the setting that I use to finish the edges is this one here. It's a little zigzag and straight stitch. It's kind of hard to say, straight stitch. If you don't have this, I just recommend doing your zigzag setting and then do a straight stitch over that. All right, so now that I cut all my strings, I'm just cutting along the stitched edge right of the point of the zigzag. Okay, so for the sleeve, I know I need to go in about an inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna take where my needle is and measure about an inch. So there's usually measurements here on your sewing machine. Do a straight stitch all the way down, and you don't need to be perfect if it's a little bit more, a little bit less. 
A stretchy sweater is very forgiving. Okay, so when it comes to the corners, I'm gonna show you a little bit here. So you're gonna go all the way to the line where the seam of the arm is, and then push the needle down, and then you're gonna come straight down to connect it like this. And then that's it. Now we're gonna go back in with our serge stitch. I want to show you a close-up of what the armhole looks like. So this is over an inch. I went slightly over the armhole and then I connected it down to the side of the sweater. Now I'm just going to cut along where my serge stitches. Now I'm going to do the other side. You guys, doesn't this look so much better? Oh my gosh, look at it. It's like oversized, but all in the right areas. It's perfect. I actually like it with these leggings and some sneakers and a little hat and you can go. Or I think it would look great paired with some jeans, either blue or white or even black and some booties or over the knee boots. You can dress it up, dress it down. I mean, it's perfect. It's perfect now. So if you guys like this DIY sew video, you know what to do, give it a big thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe because you guys, this is so cool. I make videos every Friday now and I get to share like how to's, my favorite DIYs and my everyday life. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell so you're notified every time I post and I will see you guys next week. Bye.